Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm going uh, just showing you something. It's a pretty cool pro program. It is, and I use it a lot. And actually, now I use it. I actually, uh, yeah, I'm kind of. I just. It's pretty strange when I right now use a computer without it, and it's this dock. Um, so you have multi uh, You have more programs uh, for a dock like this. Also. Windows uh, spotted this like I want to drag this one. Um, well, let's see if this works. You will just have to drag a, a item or a file into that uh, into the top, <coughs> and then you will get this bar. But it's kind of ugly, and I don't like it, so I'll just close it and press OK. So the second one I'm going to talk about is this one. And this one is uh, called Rocket Dock, and I pretty like it because it works fine in Vista. I'm using Vista too, so I'll navigate to the um, to the site. Okay, all this org. Actually, yeah, it's um, <coughs> this uh, this is the uh, just the URL, just rocketdock.com. Um, it has a lot of features and add-ons and stuff. Um, like you can have icons, skins, docklets, and misc. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what's in there, but okay. So, um, right now this folder is not a or this icon is not a normal icon as you can see. It's a docklet, and this docklet is called a stack docklet. Uh, I thought. So you can add it. Uh, well, not right. <coughs> not um. Not uh, when it's installed and you did nothing, you can't use it. So you'll just, um, yeah, f uh, you'll just Google it like, um, well, stack docklet rocket dock, and um, um, well, it's it's in the main site actually in docklets, but I don't know how much. Uh, well, it got. Uh, 14 pages all oh, well <laughs> here you have it so it actually doesn't matter and see it's the same image so I'll just go to download file it's actually pretty easy to do uh, you will save the zip file like I do right now and it's kind of downloading slow okay it's funny um, so you will extract the files here or extract here um, you'll get a folder and this full you will navigate to the install path. Uh, for me, it's not a uh, partition C, but E program files and then rocket dock. And you go to um, docklets, and you will drag this one just right in, and it's uh, ready to go. So now you go to the to your dock, dock. You go to add item, and it should be there. Maybe you have to reload it. Uh, oh, it's there. By the way. Um, maybe it has to reload. Maybe you have to reload your um, dock before the, uh, the stack docklet is showing up. So when you add it, it looks like the looks like this. So you go to icon settings. Now you'll get to this window. You can go to folder and navigate like um, well, just a random file like um, well downloads. Let's do that one. Uh, so I go to icon. I'll press that one. Um, well, there are more icons. I don't have them uh, right now. Uh, well, I had, I had that cool uh, Firefox icons, but okay. Uh, they are, by the way, all downloadable at rocket dot doc dot com. Um, so you can sort them by name or something. Creation time, last bonafide time, last access time and kind um, you have also have mode uh, you have automatic fan and grid I really don't like the fan I'll show you what it does like when I press it's showing up this and I don't want that so oh, it's kind of strange so what I'm going to do is grid and when I press this it will show you this nice thing um, yeah, so that's the first one. Um, if you are using Vista, uh, la like I do, you cannot uh, use this doc. It's called IC doc. 
Um. Well, no, no, no. Um. Well, where's the main side out there? I don't know actually if this is the real side. I thought so. Um, but okay, so you'll just go to programs. It's oxy. No, oxix. Oxy. <laughs> Well, it's concerned, I'll just provide the link in the description. It's too hard to spell. So, here we have I, uh, the izat.doc, so you click download. And you will have a folder or a zip file. And if that zip has been downloaded, you have to extract it. And once um, extracted, you will just have to run the executable. Um, it's portable because it don't need an installation, but well to put it on your mp3 it's kind of strange because then you have some problems with the drive because every kind of computer um, notice when I put uh, for example my USB in um, well no, no, I'm not gonna do that right now but let's see it's going to be in G but for the example on the laptop I'm putting it in it's called F so uh, when you add an icon in the IC doc, it will uh, save the full path. So it will save F uh, colon backslash and then let's see IC doc or something. Uh, when I open it in this one, it probably got an error or something that it could not find the path because it's not actually found in the drive F. Even I don't. Oh well, it's my uh, DVD station uh, or DVD. Uh, driver thingy so yeah I I so well that's the reason why I just use this uh, rocket dock it also has many features like uh, positioning you can do it on monitor 1 and 2 you can't sheet see it but it's on my second monitor you can also have them in the middle so you cannot see that uh, right now well you can see now half of it so I'll just do one at top you can do bottom you can see that uh, left you can now you can see it there and oh right um so you can I like to top by the way so you're layering you can do always on top normal and always on bun so well not well it's not really I just like always on top because then when you open up Firefox or something it is going to be over Firefox instead of under. So you can also add a style. I've got that. I downloaded the dark. Blah. I downloaded the dark skin from uh, rocketdog.com. And um, well, this is just a font. And I thought it's called uh, 106 uh, beats that. Uh, well, I can check right now. Yeah, 106 beats that. Well, it's a pretty cool one. And I have shadow color on black. And I would like color on black too, and then well like this. I uh, like you can do behavior. I don't know actually what it is like Uber icon effects and bounce. Well, well don't ask me because I don't know what it means actually. I didn't found any kind of difference between them. Uh, well I checked auto hide and it means um, it is going to be disappearing. Well not when I have the settings on. But it will disappear like my start menu. Um, you can have the um, auto eye duration and delay pop up on mouse over and stuff like that. So here you have the a little about like general. You can do the language uh, minimize windows to dock. So whenever like I'm going to run Notepad, Notepad, Notepad. <laughs> um, when I minimize it, it will go to my dock instead of my taskbar. So it's pretty useful. So I have to quit this video now, right now. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. Uh, my email address is gnbjbnk dot at gmail dot com. I mean. So um, I still I'm still thinking of a new site. So if you have any kind of requests. And if you think the site site is a good idea, uh, I th you'll just have to comment this video or email me if you don't have a YouTube account. 
So anyway, thanks for watching again, and I'll catch you in my later tutorials and or videos. So, yeah. Yeah.